Yeah, I know I that one. The uh, so people from live stream took me off the account from the webcast. Right. Oh, we took it off the webcast. Let's just get the ride back. I think it's going to be great. So. Uh, you guys are done with the safe uh, we're going to another school. What's that, which other school we are going to? But I don't know if they're going to be, uh, if, if somebody from school is going to run or not. Okay. I doubt it. Uh, Dryden. Oh, you're going to Dryden? Are we? No, I, think, I don't think so. Dryden is far away, right? Yeah, Dryden's the next town. Yeah, yeah. About like 20 minutes at least. It's an hour. An hour, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 not Dryden. I misspoke. Uh, there is another school that we're going to here in Kenora. Picture. What school are we going to next? Uh, we got to be there at uh, one o'clock, and it's right around the corner from where they are. Okay, it's in Kenora. You know the name? Yeah, John Paul. The officer the one was uh, that, Oh, sorry. Yeah. Is there someone else running there? Or? Uh, no, no. We're just going to bring the uh, truck there. Okay, so I don't. You know, no, we just need you in the picture. Khaled. Yeah, I won't go on the video. Yeah. Lizik. Wakif. روح من جهته روح على الجهه الثانيه كمان من وراهم شير I just wanted to translate. Oh, okay. The flame. Yeah, okay. Uh, Mayor, Halet is from Palestine. He's from Palestine. And he lost his 11 year old brother six years ago. He was accidentally shot by an Israeli soldier. And the family afterwards donated his organs to five Israeli children. So the family's uh, doing a world tour uh, to uh, promote organ and tissue donations. So we're lucky to have him for the next four months to, to, to speak to him. <laughs> we're going to be here for three days. And I know Crystal's gone, but we wanted to see if we can get him uh, in, to see the carnival because that's oh, quite... Is there anything we can talk about afterwards? <laughs> yeah, it's under the tent all weekend. There'll be all kinds of stuff. Uh, yeah. You can get in the canoe races if I you want. Have <laughs> 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 you ever jumped in through the ice to go swimming? Is that a great swimmer at the beginning? Oh, you have life jackets. There we go. <laughs> so we just want to take a photo up with the officer <laughs> sure, as well. Absolutely. Uh, so any of the cameras? Uh, no filming though at this time. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Two cameras at the same time. You can do it. Yeah. You want me to do one? No. Frank, multitasking. Thanks, Frank. Thank you. Thank you. I'm running. So you guys, you guys, no, no problem. Anytime. You guys, so the next school, no oh, running. Okay, you guys, oh, okay, no, it's okay. Oh, my score. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll be getting lots of them today. Yeah. yeah. That's Paulette. The interpreter, he will need more of this story. It was an international story. And as we speak, all of the people. How was the run? Well, you can a second one a little bit. Yeah, yeah, of course. Unless, unless, did you want, did you want? How many kilometers was that? Especially in this way. Yeah, yeah.
So the officer apologized to me. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. I listened. I told you he forgot about that one. Sometimes some people like they thinking about whatever. It's a minor stop sign, head war. Of course, I forgot about that one. Yeah, we're on live. Oh my goodness, now he's gonna be like. Huh? Now he's gonna see this and he's like, man, they're making fun of me. They said that I made a mistake. But, you know, this is for everybody. It's for Yeah. Okay, thanks, Lisa. Have a great weekend here. Great thing the entire weekend. Yeah. Okay, enjoy the festival. Thank you. We'll see you guys there. Probably. Thank you. We can shut that off now, right? Okay. Let me get yeah, okay. Do you wanna? Can I shut it off? If you want, unless anybody you wants to that's why. Shut it off? Okay. Or else just plan it somewhere, let it go off by the In this though? Make yeah. sure it doesn't touch the wick though. Okay. Oh, you're not going to do a side by No, no. Just, just, try to see that. Over here. And you can do that. And we'll, I guess, start blocking her in. Sorry. Is there a kid away? Yeah. More I want the side of the truck because yeah. yeah. it's a better dog truck. Could we, uh, Khaled, close the door, please. <laughs> that works awesome. Now we can go there, George. Ho ho. George Marcello, G E O R G E Marcello, M A R C E L L O. Hang on, I don't seem to be getting much on either. Uh, test one, two, test, test, three, four. Test. Nothing. Hang on. Is it? Try it now. It's just not getting more. Test one, two, test, test, three, four. No, I lost it. Test them two. Sorry, right, gentlemen, you can start your questions if you like. No, no. It's Forgot Friday. the battery? Good. It's Friday, there's lots of time. <laughs> and you're recording? Yeah. One more check on the audio. Test one, two, test, test, three, four. Test one, two, test, test, three, four. You see the... Pull it down for a second. Go ahead and start, guys. Hey, sir. Uh, what did you make of today's... Uh, well, first of all, oh, I always so love coming uh, back to Kenora and meeting my uh, good friend Mayor <laughs> Caffield. Uh, he remembers from the beginning yeah. back in uh, 2000, uh, you know, when we first did this coming through uh, Kenora. And now uh, we're in our eighth campaign register. Now, I thought, what a wonderful place. What a beautiful place to kick off this tour, Kenora, the beautiful city of Kenora. And that's why we chose Kenora. Uh, his, it's hospitality. Uh, since we entered the uh, community, we've been just received by warm people, friendly people like we've been used to. And, and Frank over here wants to go fishing as soon as we can, but he, we don't have enough time to do that this time around, so he's going to do it the next time. But what a wonderful kickoff we had uh, starting this morning, uh, doing a live show with Shaw, and then uh, the uh, following that was with Beaver Bray, you know, uh, here in Elaine. Uh, Campbell, the uh, young 20-year-old girl that needs a double lung transplant, speak to the students how important it is to register. And, and having Halet Khatib, uh, the young boy from Palestine here, to share his amazing story. You know, we're calling them the uh, two generals. We're missing one, the third general, Christopher Knowles. He was the 14-year-old boy, and Mayor Canfield will remember Christopher when he carried that torch across Can. He's actually our third uh, general. So we got three young, amazing kids uh, that, that we're saying can lead an army of students through Ontario. 
and that's how we're going to get this done is through the students. Uh, you know, so we, uh, we feel that uh, after speaking to the students this morning, that they're going to continue their efforts uh, to register as many people in uh, Kenora as possible. And I'm sure we can continue so getting the lending hand from Mayor Canfield, uh, the uh, networks, the media. Uh, at the end of the year, we <coughs> want to show that Kenora has registered Anna, Anna, more people per capita so than any other city or community in Ontario. Yeah. How's that for a goal? So that, that's what we're going to try and achieve. We've seen you uh, speaking passionately on this topic for years and watched this organization of yours build over the past you know, decade, as you say. Um, how do you feel at this point about what you've been able to, to achieve? And what do you, what do you think you've been able to achieve? Well, uh, first of all, it has been a very slow process. Uh, you know, our, our goal ultimately when we first began this back in 1997 uh, was to see Canada become a leader when it comes to organ and tissue donations. Now, through the years, awareness and education was a, a very extreme, uh, extreme vital part, but we also needed some policy changes. Now, I believe that finally we have the two tools where we can turn that corner. Uh, we have the uh, registry, which, which was very important, and we were promoting the registry since 2000. And we have something called uh, routine referral, where now when, you know, there's a potential organ donor, the family will be approached appropriately in a very sensitive man uh, manner. Because before that didn't exist, uh, the family would get approached abrupt abruptly and with no way of knowing whether their loved one wanted to become an organ donor. With this registry, It'll take a couple of minutes to find out whether that potential donor uh, wanted to be a donor. And the process can be carried out by Trillium Gift of Life Network more appropriately in a sensitive manner. And depending on what their religious beliefs was, there can be the appropriate uh, reli uh, religious uh, person there to accommodate the process. So we have two important tools to work with. So that's why for us right now doing this campaign, after all these years, uh, we feel that we can really turn this corner and by going from school to school and, and community to community, uh, we get as many people as possible to, to spread this message. It takes two minutes, register now. That's why we're calling it register now, not tomorrow. You know, we've given people 15 years. That's a good question. We've given pe people 15 years to think about this. You know, now it's time to register. You know, no excuses. Like when you have a moment, if you're online and you're watching this or you're listening to it on the radio or uh, seeing it on the newspaper or, or seeing it from Shaw or CTV, take that moment and register. Go to torchoflife.com and register. I mean, you want to sign up about a million, which is about an eighth of the population of Ontario. Do you know how many donors you have right now? Uh, roughly about a quarter uh, of a million donors, so we probably got about 700,000 to go. Uh, it, you know, you have to get ambitious. You have to set the bar high here. You have to go after a high number. We can't be lame about this because if a YouTube video can get millions of viewers overnight, why can't we show that same enthusiasm as, as we won our Toronto Maple Leafs, I think everybody's a Leaf fan or unless Winnipeg <laughs> Jets. <laughs> Some people have given up. <laughs> well, okay, but let's, let's just look Pretty at Pretty soon the Kenora Thistles will have won the Stanley Cup. <laughs> 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 Woohoo! But how come we keep going back with the same enthusiasm year after year, hoping yeah, they're going to, you know, how can we convert that enthusiasm into registry? See, we can't do it alone. We really need every community to continue doing this. So this is going to be a year-long process, you know, where, where we really need the community. And as, as you're registering to, to say, look, our community is doing really good, you know, put out a press release. Put out a press release from your community. You know, come up with ideas. Because if we can achieve this goal, it, it not only, we're not only helping to save lives, but it brings people together. Look at Hallett's situation. Right now, in his region, how hostile it is, his, what his family did is, is such a hope for that region, you know, that, that 
you know, it brings religions together, politics together. It bring, it, it's organ and tissue donation is just so powerful. So it's not only saving lives, but it brings people together. Do you want to tell his story real quick? Or do you want him to oh, No, please, Halek. Okay. He, you guys are ready to go? Frank. Please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just gonna put it. Okay. Uh, oh. How much battery we got? Sorry. Oh, I don't know. It's almost dying. I know. It needs an organ transplant. <laughs> we gotta get the other cameras going. Okay. <laughs> We can get closer. We can hear it. I thought that. Uh, yeah, I'm coming. We'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, George. Um, tell us what, what's your personal relation to organ donors? Well, I'm a liver transplant recipient myself. I received this uh, precious gift in uh, 1995, and I didn't know how to say thank you. Like, how do you say thank you after having your life saved? I didn't know how to sing. I didn't know how to dance. I knew how to walk. And so what I did was I walked across Canada to thank my anonymous uh, donor. And during the time that I did this, organ and tissue donation was considered voodoo uh, medicine. And so I think by having a liver transplant recipient walk across Canada kind of showed that we have a cure now. What was that? What year was that? Uh, 1997 I actually was my first step. And, and so you know, as I traveled from community to community, I was sharing my sto story over and over again. And uh, I, th I think what happened was organ donation started to become more of a, a topic of issue. Why do you think it's so important for young people to, to spread the message? Um, because their enthusiasm and their passion is much more genuine. And it's contagious as well. And when the Pope blessed that torch of life, it was the Pope that also said, pass the torch to the children. He said, the children are the ones that are going to inspire the world. So the, for the past 10 years, that's what we've been doing. Uh, we've been, you know, having children uh, arranged in communities to carry the torch, be the spokesperson, be, you know, talk to the people. As you've seen Elaine speak today. And you do have a special relationship with her. Can you talk a little bit about her and how she inspires you and others? When I first met Elaine, um, I knew she was special in more ways than one. I met so many people over the years that literally touched me and inspired me, and I'll remember them the rest of my lives. And uh, Elaine had a special quality about her that just kind of, you know, uh, leaves you. With, I think she has a way of connecting that's special. And, 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 you know, once in a while somebody like that comes along. Um, the, the other person that reminds me of her is uh, Christopher Knowles, the 13-year-old boy that carried the torch across Canada while he was in need of a liver transplant. And when reporters asked him, Chris, why are you doing this? He goes, I want to save the 4,000 people that are waiting. Now that's genuine, you know, when Elaine speaks, we listen. So I think when the Pope said, pass the torch to the kids, I can only give you this kind of information, but the kids have this special quality to it too. What did you think of the reaction of the students today? I thought it was fantastic. I really believe that they're going to follow, you're, you're going to see these kids come up with ideas and ways to, to really uh, encourage more registration. And, and, you know, find a way how we can connect with each other afterwards from community to community, you know, and I, I think I, we got to believe we can pull this off. we got to believe that, you know. So I, I think through a lot of prayers, uh, uh, Elaine represents all the people on the waiting list. So by paying attention to her and, and looking at her, you're, you're going to save uh, the rest of the people. You're going to pay attention to the rest of the people. Just like it was eloquently said by Halet. You save one person, you save mankind. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, well, we are, we are going to go edit this now. Nice meeting you, George, and best of luck with the rest of your trip. And your mission.
thank you. I know you'll succeed. Any way we can get a link of your... Yes, I will post it on the Point North Facebook page um, by next... One black, one tan. Which one do you want? Okay. So uh, the show doesn't George gives the other one. Next weekend, so <laughs>